Hey guys, so today I'm gonna be looking at more Bridezillas. So yeah, let's just get right into the video. Hey, if you weren't informed by Mike, it's mine and Christian's wedding next month. If you're buying us gifts, the requirement is to buy us gifts above $250 for either me or Christian. So what are you saying? Is that you want something over $250? Yep. Well then, don't expect me coming. We have beer, cocktails, cake. Well then, you're losing because we have so much people here that have confirmed. Aren't people just supposed to be at your wedding because they're happy for you and you want them to be there to celebrate with you not because you want them to give you a gift? How superficial can you be? And I know some people are going to be like, well, because the wedding's expensive and that's why they need the money back. Well, no one asked them to have a wedding. <laughs> you know, you don't need to have a wedding to be happy. And it just sounds like they're inviting people just to get a gift over $250. And I'm assuming this is in USD as well. So that's basically $340 in Australia. This bride, she did a lot of stuff that made me want to just tear apart the contract, but this situation broke the camel's back. I live in Singapore and we have quite strict regulations for COVID-19. More information on this. Those found guilty of breaching the safe distancing rules may be jailed up to six months or fined up to $10,000 or both. Ministry of Health said, so now we know how much money we will all lose? No, that will be 10,000 from me, 10,000 from the bride, 10,000 from the groom, 10,000 from the venue provider. You get what I mean. And there's a chance that we could be jailed too. So I have went through everything for this couple, like how the booking fee ain't refundable to the COVID-19 safety measures and requirements, but I guess it all went over the heads since the bride wanted to do all the things that aren't allowed. Bride, can we have karaoke? Me, no. Bride, dance? Me, no. Bride, live music? Me, well that's all right, but no wind instruments. Bride, why must I be tested before the wedding? I don't want to be tested. Me, you will be exempted from testing if you are fully vaccinated at least 14 days before the event. Bride, but I don't want to be vaccinated. Me, well, if you are not vaccinated, then you would have to take the swab test, which will be valid for 24 hours. Here's a list of clinics that you can take the swab test. Results will be out in less than 30 minutes and it costs like $40 and above. Bride, but that's so expensive. I will need to pay for my fiance and children too. Me, there could be some clinics that will provide cheaper rates for children. You can look them up in this list from page 20 onwards. Right, I don't want my wedding party to be separated from the rest of the guests. I want them to sit together with other guests. Me, not possible. Since the COVID-19 requirements with zoning and safe distancing highlighted. Bride, but I am paying for your services for this wedding and I want you to make this happen. Honestly, I was hoping for her to cancel this wedding at this point to end me from my misery. Do note that a wedding has not happened yet, so if she's this bad pre-wedding, I'll just pray for what will happen during the wedding itself. Oh my gosh. She's the one who wants to have the wedding like at this time, you know? And if you're gonna have it during this time, then be responsible for it. Like, how old are you? 11? It just makes me shocked that adults can be like this, you know? Like, it just sounds like she's throwing a tantrum. Maybe think before you're about to have your wedding. You know what I mean? I'm getting married this year. Earlier this year, when I finalized the wedding date, my sister asked if I could move the date forward because she would be 39 weeks pregnant and she can't risk attending the wedding. That wasn't possible because my best friend who lives out of the country was only free during those days or he wouldn't make it. So I refused and she said she was fine with it. Me and her were close, so I was bummed, but it was whatever. Now, I'm planning my wedding with my fiance, but the thing is my sister doesn't even show a little bit of excitement for it. She doesn't even look happy about it and doesn't take interest when I ask her for her opinions. So I snapped and told her she could at least be happy for me if she isn't attending the wedding. She said she doesn't see why she should be interested. She is happy for me and my fiance, but I can't expect her to show excitement about a wedding she isn't even attending. So I told her it was her choice. She replied she has a good excuse not to attend, but I could have moved the wedding ahead a bit, especially when the bride had no problem, but I didn't, so now I don't get to be mad. I was shocked by how bitter she is. I didn't expect her to hold a grudge. She knows how close me and my best friend are. I vented to my fiance about the whole thing, 
but she told me I need to cut my sister some slack because she's pregnant and I did choose my best friend over her. Now I don't have any right to be mad. Yeah, you should listen to your fiance. <laughs> you literally chose your best friend over your sister. What are you expecting? So you want your sister to be at your wedding when she's almost due for her kid? How dumb is that? Like, okay, everything is fine, but you just can't be mad at your sister, you know? It's not like she doesn't want to come. It's more like she can't come because you didn't move the date. That's all, so don't be mad. I'm a bridesmaid for someone who is having a wedding in October. I'm part of eight bridesmaids. I'm trying to plan for that day, so I asked if we should go ahead and get ready on our own and show up at a certain time or if we were doing it together. That is, having a professional come that maybe the bride coordinated or something. If it was the case that the bride coordinated someone, I would have been happy to pay for my part and give them part of the bride's expense. We're already paying for the shower, the bachelorette, our dresses and bachelorette shirts. The bride let us all know that she wants us all to come to the venue and help out. Not sure with what yet, and then do our hair and makeup ourselves. I asked if it was okay if I just showed up with it already done, and she said basically no, I want us to all do it ourselves. So she's not getting her hair and makeup done professionally either. I think her sister is doing it for her. Anyway, I'll do as she said, it just felt weird. I'm really bad at hair and makeup. I really wish I could just have gotten it out of the way, but now I feel like I'll be going behind her back if I did. Praying I don't look like a mess watching DIY YouTube tutorials to prepare in advance. It also felt like I was the only one in the group that felt weird about it. Everyone else just said, okay, thoughts? Is this weird or am I the weird one? I think that's weird. Why can't she just allow her bridesmaid to get it professionally done outside before coming? I mean, isn't that normal if you're not that good with makeup yourself? It'd be normal to have someone do it for you, right? Why doesn't she want that? So she wants someone to show up like a mess? Huh? I don't get this. I actually don't get it. Can you guys explain to me why? I actually don't get this. Well, the bride is also not getting it professionally done. Is that why she doesn't want her friend to get it professionally done? Because then she's going to be like, oh, she's going to look so much better than me. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know the reason why she wouldn't allow it. That's the only uh, thing I can think about. My husband was asked to be the best man at his friend's wedding. The couple decided to not get married for two years, so they had time to plan the dream wedding and save for their honeymoon to an expensive location. That's cool, to each his own. The planning process was a nightmare. Several friends had dropped from even attending the wedding due to the bride's awful attitude and the groom's sense of entitlement. About six months before the wedding, the groom asked my husband about the bachelor party. My husband told the groom that he and the other groomsmen would get a limo and do a bar crawl with some adult entertainment at a great spot close to home. The groom said nothing. The following day, the bride sent a group text to all the groomsmen. They're all useless and she can't believe she's doing their job for them. She said they've had two years to plan and save and the bachelor party needs to consist of at least a three-day weekend in Vegas, renting a suite at Caesar's Palace and treating the groom like a king and footing the entire bill. My husband texted the bride outside the group text and told her that some life issues had come up and we couldn't afford an extravagant weekend in Vegas, but the bar crawl would be great and the groom would surely have a good time. Not good enough. She texted paragraphs about how our money problems were not her problem. And if he couldn't do this, they would find another best man who could. My husband, never one to hold his tongue, let alone have a filter, said to her, why would I spend all this money? You'll be divorced in two years. He was dazzy jeffed out of the wedding party and we were uninvited. The happy couple filed for divorce 23 months after they were married. What just happened? I don't get this whole thing. I'm so confused. What in the world is going on? I thought it was the bride and the groom who mostly organized everything and the bridesmaids and the groomsmen basically helped out, not do the thing for them. Honestly, I have no idea. I'm too single to even like understand any of this. Okay, well then, good. <laughs> you know, his prediction was correct. They divorced before two years, even earlier. Good. Good thing they didn't spend any money. We would have wasted all that money for nothing on entitled people who are not grateful to 
glad they dropped them. Well, that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Tell me in the comments down below what your thoughts are. And as always, thanks for watching. Hope you guys liked it and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.